We are now preparing our vaccine candidates to be tested in the first in human trial, as we call it. So the first time it will be administered to people. Uh, from that, of course, we want to get an idea of the safety of our vaccine and also of its ability to elicit an immune response. And as soon as we have that information, we may uh, enter into what we call an efficacy study. And that is a study to demonstrate that it indeed, the, if it gives an immune response, whether that immune response will protect against COVID-19. We indeed built a lot of experience with our HIV vaccine candidate and also with our Ebola vaccine. And the, the, the similarity between the programs, so between those two and the one for the uh, Corona uh, vaccine is uh, the, the platform. So, so we sort of present the uh, virus specific part in something that we always use. Currently, we already have uh, a pilot or a launch facility available where we can manufacture at 1,000 liter scale, and that would give production of 300 million doses per year. But of course, on a, a world population of 7 billion, uh, that's far uh, from enough. So that is why we are now expanding uh, with manufacturing capacity on US soil, and in addition to that, exploring possibilities for expansions on uh, in, on other continents to really uh, uh, deliver on our uh, promise that we want to make a vaccine for the world and to guarantee access.